welcome back to Michelle Reads and Blogs and in today's video we are opening the Lock Library for November. So we are back to the normal pink packaging from the Lock Library this month. It was nice to have that change with the orange packaging last month, definitely on brand more for pink. Okay, we have opened her up. Let's have our sneak peek. Oh, there's a little bit of packing paper in there. I think it's a slightly thinner book than some of the other ones that they've done. That's why we've got that extra packaging. I always love how nicely wrapped these are. Other than the books that I get from Book Bar for the book club, these are definitely kind of the nicest individually wrapped books. And it's so nice opening them because it always feels like a little present. I should have said the theme for this month, it is Love Resurrected. So let's open her up. Ooh. That is a nice cover. I'm pretty sure it's a redesign. I'm going to put the original UK cover up here. I love the reds on this, all of these dark reds and these kind of, not even so much silvers. I try and say more of this is probably more of like a platinum. What they're going for there, that is stunning. So we've got the Gilded Crown by Marianne Gordon. Got these red roses around the crown here, but then these ones, you've got this coming off the top. I don't know if that's meant to be blood or something. On the crown, you've got these small details. That is a beautiful cover. On the side, we've got the crown and then on the back we've got these roses again so the same kind of motif off the front but these ones are the, well they're both the opposite way around and you've got I don't know if that was meant to be blood I don't know the storyline yet I don't know if that's theming or not so sprayed edge we have a solid black sprayed edge on the top with a red ribbon bookmark I love the ribbon bookmarks and I love that they always do the color of them to suit the theme of the book and then this is our sprayed edge for the month so you've got the crowns not quite the roses but you've got these red ferns instead now I do like this sprayed edge but what I dislike about the library at the moment is they keep trying to give hints of what's coming in their box and they basically have been sharing the sprayed edges on their Instagram so it's not a surprise which is a little bit sad. I'm not sure why this one is a slightly different colour to these. I don't know if it's just the lighting in here as well. No, I think that's definitely, it looks almost like the inks ran out. That one's a lot brighter yellow and as you go down it gets kind of less bright. So I don't know, I think that's intentional. I think it's that the underside of the crown is the brighter bit and that just happens to be the underside and that happens to be the top side. But they are very, very pretty and very on brand for the name of the book. The end pages are basically the same design as that sprayed edge so as well as the red ferns you've got some butterflies or I should say butterfly there's just one and the crowns around it so that's very nice we all know that I love when the art all matches and definitely this is all very much kind of in keeping with the same theme I like that a lot opening it up we do have a letter from the author dear lock library reader and it's got a digital signature on the bottom of it no um, signed page but that's not something that massively bothers me much. I just think it's a nice addition when we do get that. I have just been editing this video and doing my final watch through and I realised that as I was talking through this book I got this slipping here <laughs> And I hadn't even looked at the hardcover. And one thing that the Lark Library do is they always have a motif in the foiling on the front of the book and it's always themed to the book. So there you've got the crown, you've got these ferns again around the crown. Obviously that's very on theme with the book. And on the side you've got the normal Lark Library key and the same kind of foiling but they're all the, the different colour to fit in with the theme of the book so that you can display them all together and they will all match. They've also just announced that they will start um, doing archived versions of books. So starting in January we're going to get our first archived book which is going to be basically an older book that's been released before and then that's the only sub sub subscription box one there's going to be. They're going to be then releasing them and you can buy them separately from them. But yeah that is our hardback 
back to the previously filmed video. The book itself is 375 pages long and the font is kind of standard so it's kind of a standard length book really. Not too long, not too short. Let's have a look at the synopsis for this one and see where these roses and perhaps if it is blood comes into it. Book one in the Raven's Trade series. So we already know this is going to be a series of books. The first time Helivere visited death, she was 10 years old. Since she was a little girl, Helivere has been able to raise the dead. Every creature can be saved for a price. A price demanded by the shrouded figure who rules the afterlife who takes a little more from Helivere with each soul she resurrects. Such a gift can rarely remain a secret. When Princess Sullivan, sole heir to the kingdom's throne, is assassinated, the Queen summons Helivere to demand she bring her granddaughter back to life. But once is not enough, the killers might strike again. The princess's death would cause a civil war, so the Queen commands that Helivere remain by her side. But Sullivan is no easy woman to be bound to, even as Helivere begins to fall in love with her. With the threat of war looming, Helivere must trade more and more of herself to keep the princess alive and death will always take what he is owed. So I think it's safe to say that is definitely blood coming out of the crown there. That sounds really good. I think this is one of the more hyped lop library books that we've received. I can see why because that sounds like a good synopsis. Different to what I've read before and definitely something that appeals to me. But it's not just about my opinions. Please let me know yours in the comments. Are you going to read this one? Are you interested? Have you got this one from the Lot Library? Another thing about the Lot Library is they don't tell us about the artists within the box. So other box openings that we have, we usually have a spoiler card and on that card it tells us who designed the sprayed edge, who designed the redesigned cover if there is one. I'm not sure if this is or not and who designed the end pages. So it is a bit of a shame that we don't have this with this one, but it is stunning. I do really like that book. I think if red is your vibe as well, I think you'll really especially like this one. That is it for today. If you liked, please give the video a like. It really does help the channel out. If you're not subscribed, please consider doing so if you would like to see more bookish content from me. Other than that, have a lovely rest of your day, wherever you are, whatever you're up to, and I will see you next time. Bye!